Okay, guys, I can't lie to you anymore. I have to tell you the truth about for loops. The truth about for loops is that you're probably not going to be using for loops that often in your life as a day to day software developer because we have these things called array helper methods. Now, if this array helper method is a little confusing looking to you, don't worry about it because I'm going to explain it right now. This part right here is going to be your collection. I went a little crazy on the Red Bulls last weekend, so I'm going to make an array of Red Bulls. Feel free to use whatever type of array that you want to, but this actual array helper method is going to be operating on this array of Red Bulls that I have right here. This is going to be the for each. This is just the method that you choose to use. This video is going to be about for each, so we chose for each. The next one is going to be where most of the heavy lifting is being done, and this is an anonymous function. This is where all the iteration is going to be happening. And pay attention to this part right here. Notice that this is plural and this is singular. And this is actually singular right here because this is where we are iterating over each individual element in the array. So here is how the for each loop is going to work. The first thing that's going to happen is that it's going to iterate over the strawberry apricot. The strawberry apricot is going to be put right here where the singular Red Bull element is, and then it will be passed down here into the actual console log where it will be console logged. As you probably guessed, since we're iterating, it's going to go to the next element. And this next element is going to go down into the parameter. The parameter is then going to become the coconut. The coconut is going to be passed down to the console log and it will be console logged. And lastly, it's going to get to the blueberry. Blueberry is going to go down into the Red Bull and then it is going to be console logged. But there's one really important aspect about for each that you want to understand. And that is for reaches don't actually return anything like you would see in a map or some of the future array helpers that we are going to be talking about. This is a for loop representation of a for each. And as you can see here, there is no return. No element is being returned. And just remember that for eaches don't return anything. And even if you put a return in a for each, it is not going to return anything. But that is all you really need to know about for each loops. Let's go ahead, let's go into VS Code and let's do some practice. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a array of red bulls. Now, the actual array needs to be in the plural form. Make sure that when you are making the array is in the plural form. And then we are going to pass in our favorite flavors of Red Bull right here. It's going to be strawberry, apricot, and then it is going to be coconut. Those are my favorite flavors. Obviously, those are the best flavors. Okay, now we're going to make a for loop. And this is going to be a actual old school for loop representation of a for each. And it's important to understand the underlying mechanics of the for loop so that we can understand the for each better. And the for loop is going to look like I mentioned before, it is going to be the representation of just a classic for loop that we've been using a hundred times before in these videos. So first thing I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go I plus plus just a regular incrementer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to console log the array up here and we are going to access it with our I from our for loop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make our real for loop right here. And I'm going to comment this out because we don't really need it anymore. And then I'm going to go into here. Remember that this part is going to be the actual array that we are going to iter iterate over. And we are going to do a for each. And we are going to have a function. And within this function, we are going to have a singular form of Red Bull. And this is very important because by convention standard, this is always going to be plural and the parameter is always going to be singular. So just remember that the array is always going to be plural. Most of the time could be different cases depending on whichever code base that you're working on. And then this is going to be singular. And then within here, it's going to be the parameter that we have and it is going to log the actual Red Bull. So we'll just go ahead in here, go ahead. And that is pretty much our for each. And let's go ahead and let's test it within the console to see what we are getting. So I'm gonna go over here, go into the console. And as you can see, we are getting our cranberry, our strawberry, and our coconut. If we go up here to log our for loop up here, let's just go ahead and test it. It is the exact same outcome. Looking great, but we can't just stop here. These are super simple kind of 
uh, very dumb representations, if you will. So what we're going to do is we are going to make one with an array of objects, which is going to be more likely what you are going to see down the line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to comment this out and we're going to actually make a color. Color of Red Bull is going to be cranberry is empty. Let's just see here is empty is going we're going to make a actual for each that's going to clean up all of our red bulls next is going to be our color so we have color and then we have coconut here we're going to have this is going to be set to let's just say this one's going to be true as well too okay looking great next thing that we need to do is we actually are going to make this return an array so what we're going to do is we're going to make a Red Bull array right here. I'll call this the Red Bull array and we are going to set it because we actually need to return an array in order to actually see the outcomes. So what we're going to do is we'll make a function here. We'll call this throw away Red Bulls. This is a fancy machine that's going to throw away all of our Red Bulls. It's going to take in an array. This is where we're going to actually have our for each. So what we'll do, go here, have a for each. So I'll say for each within this for each, we're going to actually make an array. So let's make this actual uh, function a little bit more modern. Let's make it into an arrow function because we only have one parameter so we can turn it into an arrow function. So if we go here, go if Red Bull is, is empty. So if our Red Bull is empty, we will actually uh, put it within the array. So if Red Bull is empty, we need to clean it. We need to take it out. What we're going to do is we are going to actually push it into the array, which is going to be the trash. So go here, go Red Bull. This is going to push it into the array. Next thing that we need to do, we need to actually console log what we what we get back. So we'll go here, we'll go console log, and this will console log the actual array that we get back. And after here, we can put some type of, I don't know, console log that will say these Red Bulls are thrown away. So these Red Bulls are thrown away just like that and that looks good and lastly what we're going to do is we're going to actually run this function and we are going to pass in the empty array that we have up at the top so that it can push all of the elements into the array and when we do that as you can see here the empty red bulls are going to be shown and these red bulls are going to be thrown away anyways hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching